Uh, hi, my name is Bruno Silva. I'm one of the dentists at Brighton Implant Clinic. And today we're just showing you uh, a small uh, demonstration of how an implant works and what an implant is. So uh, I hope you find the video useful if it's something that you may be considering having treatment like this. So uh, this model that we have over here is uh, of a typical implant. Essentially there are two main parts that make up an implant, okay? Uh, this part at the bottom, which is what the dentist will refer to as the implant, it looks like a screw, it's made out of titanium, and uh, this part is placed into the jawbone, and uh, it needs about three to four months for it to integrate fully with the bone tissue. Once it's been confirmed that this has actually fused with the bone, then we need to actually construct the tooth that's going to be supported on the implant, and is also going to be able to restore the function or, and the, the aesthetic appearance of the missing tooth. So it's very important that one considers that all these parts are needed in order to have a tooth replaced. Why is this important? Because whether you're having one tooth or a series of teeth replaced, one doesn't necessarily need to have an implant for every tooth. Once it's been confirmed that the implant is actually uh, successfully fused with the jawbone, we start to make a selection of what different type of abutment can be used. So this abutment, it's like a connector. It's, what going, it's what's going to connect the implant with the final tooth that's resting above. Now, it can vary in different widths, in heights, and also in different materials. So the abutment that we have here, it has a specific height and width that is going to correspond with the space of the missing tooth. Finally, the crown, is then positioned onto the abutment. This crown can be made in a variety of materials as well. At the clinic we offer three different options of different implant crowns. The first option is a composite resin or acrylic type of uh, crown. This is usually used for provisional crowns and it's usually uh, required for short-term periods. So if during a healing phase one is waiting for an implant to heal, one doesn't want to necessarily have a definitive or permanent type crown material. One would be using a crown made out of resin or a composite type material. The second type of crown that we have is a porcelain fused to metal crown. This is a more long-term uh, type of material. It's basically harder wearing and it has greater aesthetic properties than uh, acrylic type or provisional type of crowns. Okay, and the third option of crown that we offer is made of a material called zirconia. Zirconia is a very hard material, it's very hard wearing, and it also has very high aesthetic properties. So it looks like a natural tooth because it doesn't have any metal containing inside the inside part of the crown. It looks like a natural tooth because it doesn't have any metal. So being metal free, it transmits light and it looks like the natural enamel material of a natural tooth. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, basically describe the different types of uh, abutments and crowns that are available for implants. We do offer a all-inclusive price at the clinic, which includes both the implant, the abutment and the crown. Um, if you did need any more information, by all means, either post a comment below or contact our clinic uh, at our website. It's uh, www.brightonimplantclinic.co.uk.